know why I'm planning my child's name out now. I'm like 17. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Montana and I'm an exchange student studying abroad in Germany. Uh, normally I make videos about comparing the US to Germany and my life as an exchange student. But today I have kind of a different theme. I'm going to be talking about the most common girl names that I've come across in Germany. And I'm going to be reviewing them on four characteristics. Is it common in America? Can I say it? Are there any nicknames for that name? And then lastly, would I name my child this? Um, I know this is kind of a strange topic, but someone in the comments actually gave me the idea. And I thought it'd be cool to make. Uh, names that I'm coming across are likely like teen names because they're the types of peers that I interact with most. With that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. No skates. <laughs> so I have 14 girl names to go through and they're not in a specific order. They're just super common names that I've come across here in Germany and a friend of mine actually helped me make this list in class. So thank you, Julia. <laughs> the first name that I have is Johanna. And Johanna has been a fairly common name here in Germany for girls. In America, it's not really common and it wouldn't be pronounced Johanna, it would be Joanna. I don't think I know a single Joanna who's under the age of 20. Um, can I say it? Johanna, Joanna, yeah, <laughs> that is a name that I can say. Any nicknames? I do have a friend named Johanna and we call her Jojo, so that's a nickname, Johanna. Anna could be a nickname, but Jojo is the nickname that we can call our friend. <laughs> Would I name my child this? Probably not, just because Joanna is more of an older person's name in America. My next name that I have is kind of two parts. It's Annalena, or there's also Anna. And in the US, Anna is a pretty common name, but it's Anna, it's not Anna, it's Anna. And Annalena, that's I've never heard that name in the US, but here I know a bunch of people named Annalena. Nicknames for that are Annie or Lainey is also a nickname here. Can I say it? Yes. Annalena, Annalena, Anna, Anna. <laughs> yeah, I think I can say that one. <laughs> I think it'd be weird in the US to have like Annalena. I don't think that goes together, but Annalena sounds good together. And then would I name my child this? Probably not because it's just Anne, Anna is kind of an older name in the US and I don't know, just not my favorite. But I love my friends named Annalena and Anna, so <laughs> no offense to them. Next is Katerina. Nicknames are Kati. There are actually two Katerinas in my class, so that is a common name. Uh, is it common in America? Yes, but in America it's Catherine and then the nickname is Kate. Would I name my child this? Yeah, I think it's really pretty and I'm kind of a sucker for the name just because of Vampire Diaries. If anyone's watched that, let me know down below. I've spent way too much of my life watching Vampire Diaries. And one of the main uh, girls' names is Catherine. In this case, the German common name is Kat Katarina. Okay, maybe I take that back. The whole like, can I say it for that name? Maybe not. <laughs> Next one that I have is Julia. This name is common in America, except it's Julia. Can I say it? Yes, Julia, Julia, yeah. <laughs> nicknames, Um, this one doesn't really have that many nicknames. I think, Yul, Yuli, Abba, uh, <laughs> uh, but Yuli or Julie is kind of like another name, so. I don't know if that's a nickname for it. I probably would not name my child this name. <laughs> Next is Hannah, or in America it's Hannah. These are both names in Germany and in America are super common. And I like Hannah, but personally I would not name my child Hannah because I get enough jokes as is with Hannah Montana. And I feel like that'd be very strange to name my child Hannah when my name is Montana. Nicknames. Hani, Han, no, no, there aren't any nicknames for that. <laughs> Next is Lisa. Uh, here, I think they say Lisa, 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 Lisa. But in America, it's Lisa. There really is not a nickname for that. I would say it's kind of common in America, 
but you definitely hear that name way more in Germany. And I've got two people in my class named Lisa, and I know other people in Germany named Lisa, but in the United States, the only person I know named Lisa is my old babysitter, and now she's like 25 or something. So it's definitely more of an older name in the US, whereas here it's for an, it's a common name for teen girls. Would I name my child Lisa? Probably not. I'm noticing a trend. <laughs> I, I didn't really realize that a lot of the names that are for older generations in America are now for younger generations in Germany, and I feel like being raised in America, I think it's weird to name my child a common name of an older generation, but if I lived in Germany, I would name my child that, so just the contrast is interesting. Next is Marie, Marie, Marie. Okay, that's one name that I cannot say. I have a lot of trouble with the German R's because whenever they pronounce their R, it's like, it's, it's different and I can't make that noise with my mouth. So unfortunately I cannot pronounce Marie. I know two people named Marie in the US. One of them is my aunt. Uh, it is fairly common. There are a good number of people named Marie. Can I say it? No. <laughs> As you heard, I cannot say the German version of Marie. And nicknames? My... No. No nicknames, really. Would I name my child that? No. Next that I wrote down is Vanessa. This is one of the most common names I think there is in Germany for the people that I know. There are three Vanessas just on my cheer team. Nicknames? Nessa. Nessie. Van... Van... Ness Okay, I don't even know if those two are legit nicknames, but Nessa definitely is, but I don't think Nessie is. Um, <laughs> can I say it? Yeah, I can say Vanessa. I think that's common and that's said the same in both English and German. Uh, is it common in America? So-so. Mm, when I name my child Vanessa, mm, Vanessa... I don't feel like that sounds right with my name, like Montana, her daughter Vanessa. I don't think that sounds good together. <laughs> I don't know why I'm planning my child's name out now. I'm like 17. I won't be having a child in a long time. <laughs> but uh, Next name that I have is Leonie. And this is one name that is not in the US. I never heard that name before coming to Germany. And I can't, I don't think I say it completely right. Leonie. Nicknames, Le Leo. Like, no, definitely not nicknames for that one. And then would I name my child that? No, I would not just because I can't say it. The next is Larissa. Larissa is the name of my best friend here in Germany and she makes fun of me all the time because I can't say her nickname right. It's Lari, La Lari. And I always say Lari and then she makes fun of me because it sounds so American. I don't know a Larissa in the US, but I've heard that name before, before moving to Germany. Would I name my child this? I would consider it just, you know, in honor of my best friend here, but I feel like I can't pronounce it 100% right, and if that's the case, then I don't want to name my child that. The next one is Ava, and that is the name of my other good friend here. The V is pronounced like a F slightly, like Ava. Ava with an A is really common in the US right now for teen girls, and then Eva. Oh, wait, I said it all wrong. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Read Jack. So, Afa is the German pronunciation, and it's here. And then, Eva is the American pronunciation of that. But we also have a name in the US, Ava, which sounds more like Afa, and that's like the American co popular common name. Nicknames, Ava's so short, I don't think there are many nicknames for that. Would I name my child Ava? I really like the name Ava with an A, and Eva I like too, but maybe as a middle name, I feel like I want my child to have a longer first name. I know, I'm very picky. <laughs> Sorry. The next name is Magdalena, and that is so German. I've never heard that name before living in the US, so it is definitely not popular in America. Can I say it? Magdalena? Tell me down in the comments below if I'm saying that right. I really don't know. So I'm gonna have to go with a maybe on that one. Nicknames. Magdi, that's a that's a nickname for it. Would I name my child this? No, it's just not popular enough. And it's not a name that I've come across enough to really want to name my child that. 
And then lastly, the last common German name for girls that I have is Leia, Leia, it's Leia, it's not Leia, <laughs> Princess Leia from Star Wars, no, <laughs> no it's Leia. It's also common in the US, but way more popular. I know way more people here named Leah. There are definitely no nicknames. When I name my child Leah, mm, probably not. I'll say the whole list again of girl names that I had. They are Johanna, Annalena, Katarina, Julia, Hannah, Lisa, Marie, Vanessa, Leonie, Larissa, Anna, Eva, Magdalena, and Leah. I hope this video was interesting. If anything, now you know a little bit more about what names are common in Germany. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, please let me know down below. And if you did enjoy it, I can make one with boy names that I found popular because there are definitely some boy names that are so common in Germany. Like, there are literally five people in my class with the same name. Hope you tune in next time for another video about Germany or German culture. Thank you so much, tschüss.